Hey everyone, I am going to show you guys the way I cut an onion um, from start to finish in terms of getting it different sizes and just the proper way to handle a knife and an onion. So first thing we want to do is make sure that our knife is super sharp. The sharper your knife is, the better and easier it is to cut and the less cuts you actually do to yourself. So um, sharp knife, onion. First thing we want to do is cut off the top. So we're going to cut off with as much of the top as we can get without wasting. Alright, so we're going to put this to the side because that's garbage. Now, the purpose of cutting off the top and the bottom is that we create a flat surface to work with so that way the onion is not rolling around. So once we have our flat surface, we're going to cut this in half exactly down the center. So now we can peel it very easily. Now you never want to cut with wet hands because you know a lot of slippery things happen and you know it's another reason for you to get cut. So try to have your hands dry. So once you have your onion in half, you know you have cut it, you've cut off the two ends and you have your flat pieces. Now the first way you want to go about this is for the small cuts. There are two ways you can do this. You can go straight down this way lengthwise or you can put it this way and go like this. So depending on the type of cuts you're looking for, there are different ways you should approach the onion. So since we're gonna do very small cuts, we can try this technique. And the first way is to go straight down and you're going to leave about this much room in the back connected, right? So that keeps the onion in place. So as we're cutting, I'll turn the onion two ways so you can see. We're going this way. And as you can see, there's about this much of the onion that we don't cut because that's what's going to keep the onion together when we're cutting the smaller pieces, right? So as you can see, the thickness that we're doing is not a lot, and this is what is going to give you perfect little cuts. So this is one of the reasons why it's very important to have a sharp knife so that you can go through this without damaging the onion and keeping it intact. So right now, as you can see the onion, we have split it quite a few times. Now the second thing we want to do is slice the onion this way a few times just to help loosen it up and to also help with the cuts. So automatically you already have cuts without even trying that are pretty uniform. Now all we want to do is go over the cuts that we did and we're going down. Now remember when you're cutting there's a specific motion that you want to follow and that keeps the integrity of whatever it is that you're cutting. So as you cut you start with the tip of the knife and you go down and slide forward. So tip of the knife go down and slide forward. Right? You never want to cut and just press down. The force that you use to press down like this, it damages whatever it is that you're cutting. So this is the way to get very uniform cuts. Now the one thing about cutting like this is that when you get to the end, 
you are not really going to have an onion that is going to be ready for you to get very uniform cuts. So with this you would use for scraps, you would use it for stock or something, you know, depending on what you're doing. If you weren't worried about perfect sizes, then you would just go through this with your knife. And there's a few ways that you can do this. I would cut this down a little bit more until we reach the end where we did our dividing, right? So as you can see, we're starting to get whole pieces, so we have reached the end. So with this, we'll leave here because we're just doing rough cuts at the moment, right? So with this, we would put it down, and you always want to get it as flat as possible. The flat the onion is, the more flat the onion is, the better it is for you to handle it. So since we have our onion and it's the shape of it is kind of off for us to get uniform pieces, we can go this way. And just kind of keep everything together, turn it, and then go again with our knife. Now the only way for you to get your onions cut super uniformly is by not going through the whole onion because the minute you try to use all of it you will end up with pieces that are not uniform right hence these guys right so these we can just add to the pile and just kind of run the knife over them so now scraping your board you never want to use the actual sharp part of the knife to scrape the board that makes your knife dull over time so what you want to do is use the back of your knife the blunt part and then use that as your scraper clean up tool whatever you want to use it whatever you want to call it right so now for the big onion you pretty much treat it the same way if you want bigger cuts um, there's a few ways you can go about it one would be to just cut down this way and you have a full slice like this now there are two ways you can go about this you can just go this way and you have much bigger slices right or we can do this Another cut straight down, and then we go lengthwise, and then rotate it halfway, and go straight down again. So there are tons of ways, you just want to make sure that you have a sharp knife, and just take your time, you know, practice makes perfect. You know, um, another way would be to put it down flat, right? Get the same slices. Some people, they go this way and they cut it down. But that first initial cut will be an off piece because it's the end of the onion. So, you know, you want to be careful. But as you cut it this way, you get these pieces and they're all together like that, right? And then you can just go the same way. And as you're cutting, you kind of just turn the onion a little and you end up with the same pieces. I hope you guys learned something and um, if there are any questions please feel free to message me or email me and I will be sure to answer you and let you know. Alright, thanks for watching.